friends welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome to my channel <laughs> today we're just gonna keep going with this Christmas series I've started and do another makeup look it's not gonna be like the crazy ugly sweater Christmas looks that I've been doing but this one I wanted to do a glam Christmas party look with just drugstore makeup so anything you can find at Walgreens CVS honestly you can include Walmart in Target because my lipstick had to come from Target because it's the only place that sells NYX products and that's all I had I forgot to buy <laughs> lipstick so don't shoot me on this one but yeah I have makeup on I need to go ahead and take all of this off and then we'll get started okay we're back I went ahead because we can skip this part I mean nobody really cares if you see me do my foundation and concealer and all that fun stuff. So I went ahead and applied, I got the Wet n Wild Matte Matte, which I kind of liked how it went on. It wasn't that bad and I think it did a pretty good job getting the rest of my makeup on. And then I went in with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I like it kind of it kind of just feels oily and not very matty like after I get it on it just kind of dries weird me I don't know I really don't know what I'm saying sorry but just yeah I, I'm not really sure how I feel about it and then I went in with the wet n wild concealer corrector thing I got it in the shade light ivory and I'm I mean I guess it kind of looks okay it doesn't look too too bright so I just went ahead and did that off camera pull my hair back I wanted to get that done just so that we can move this along so real quick before we start anything else I'm gonna go ahead and use the Rimmel London stay matte powder and I'm just gonna kind of powder my face and get like all instead of using it like I'm using this as my setting powder I guess to help set everything sorry it's a lot of powder in my face as I put it under my nose. But I'm just setting it so that it, gosh, that's a really strong smell, Rimmel. Really strong smell, but okay. Um, but we're just gonna kind of add, make it a flawless look, I guess. Say I know what I'm doing, but I don't. Now, we're gonna move on to brows. I got this little wet and wild pencil, called a micro brow pencil. Got a little, little spooly thing. So we're just gonna take that and brush our brows like so because this part does not take me long <laughs> now the fun part is using getting that bean pencil to make brows wish me luck Okay, this is the best I'm going to get them. I'm thinking... <laughs> Every time I go back and edit these videos, I always look and I'm like, how did I think my brows looked okay? But I don't know. This is the best I can go. I think I need somebody to shape them for me. I really do. Maybe one day I can make that happen. I don't know. But let's go ahead and work our way to our eyes. And we're going to do a purpley color with the Wet n Wild color icon. It kind of tells you and in there tells you where it's all supposed to go so maybe I'll just follow along <laughs> I'll just take the guesswork out of it for me you know like look it even says transition right there what what let's do this okay Ooh, that is some fall out it's all over my black leggings okay let's go I'm just gonna apply all over yeah, that's not bad I wonder if I'm supposed to put it all over mm -mm, not. oh well <laughs> just walked that off <laughs> trying to follow the directions from wet and wild but Woo. okay take this same one same brush do my brow bone too I'm 
transition it up there. Take this purple, just go ahead and go in that crease with it. Try to follow the actual picture that it tells you to do. You know? Shadow wing. Hmm. Nice and dark. Ooh. Transition and kind of blend that out. Get it all. Go all up in there. Ready? Yeah, take my flat brush and now get that pink on there. Just throw that in there. Like so. It's giving me some middle school vibes. I used to put like a shimmery color. Pull over my eyelid. Like so. It's not bad looking. I'm gonna go back in with that the darkness. Get to my old friend. I'll put that back in there. Like so. Kind of blend the two, I guess. Ta-da! I'm gonna take what I used for my crease, purple, and I'm just bring it down to my waterline. Ready? and go so shadow done moving on to our felt tip eyeliner we're just gonna go and do a wing at least that's what you know i'm gonna attempt to do <laughs> i'm using the wet and wild by the way I got a lot of wet and wild products, just in case you're wondering. So far, I don't like it. Mm -mm. I don't like the way it goes on my eye. It doesn't like, it doesn't glide on. So I was gonna try to show this to y'all, but I have to get up close and I'm gonna have to tug and and pull and tug and pull <laughs> to get this to get one. So I'll be right back. I don't recommend the wet and wild um, crayon eyeliner felt tip. It felt super dry trying to go on. There's like no product on that tip. It, mm, mm, mm. I did it, but I don't like it. No. All right, let's keep going. I'm going to finish up the rest of my face real quick with some bronzer. I just, I'm going to do bronzer and a highlighter, not contouring. I just wanted to kind of do like a quick little face. So I got this Wet n Wild bronzer thingy. I'm just going to take out my pen, my pen, my brush. Like that. Sorry, I had to move my mirror around. And we're just going to apply it. Like so. Is this showing? Oh, okay. Okay, that's showing up. I wasn't really sure about that. And I'm just going to kind of. I can't do my nose, but. <laughs> that weird laugh was just me saying, I don't know what I'm doing. You know? I hope y'all are enjoying these videos. Oh, I got my eye. Uh, I'm going to have to like deep scrub my face after this because I've been doing a lot of makeup looks trying to kind of fill in for this series and you know 
Yeah, it's like legit in my contact. Let's just finish this look so I can take all this off. <laughs> I'm not really sure how I feel about this. It's kind of, it's just kind of like, I don't know, not going on dark enough maybe for a bronzer. And I could have gotten a warmer shade. So maybe, maybe it just looks weird, but it's not too bad in the camera. Like I'm really trying to get this product on and it is all over my leggings. I'm, I'm making myself look orange, like this isn't good. And now some highlighter. We're gonna use the Wet n Wild because that's just what I've been doing. And yeah, I got this like pinky one. So I'm kind of hoping it's gonna, it's gonna do okay. Um, can you see Oh, oh, okay. I wasn't really sure how that was gonna pick up, but okay. I mean, I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it. And again, I get overboard with the highlighter. You know, as usual. Now that that is done, I'm gonna go ahead and apply lashes. I'm using the Ardell Wisps. And you can get those anywhere. And I love them. That's what I had on earlier. I love them. I'm going to keep using them. And then I'm going to finish off the mascara with this Mega Volume by Wet n Wild. And we're going to finish lipstick off with NYX Lingerie Embellishment. Because it's purple and so is this. Let's do this. Here it is, the final look of our drugstore makeup, Christmas Glam. Besides the eyeliner being just garbage, um, maybe that's the formula, or maybe I got a dud pen, because it, it didn't, like, I didn't, sh like, nothing shook or anything, so I don't know, I don't know, maybe I'm doing it wrong. I don't know, it was awful though, and I don't like it, and I don't recommend it, but, Everything else, I think, turned out okay. Like, I think the like the purple look and everything, I think it looks good. What do you all think? Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this look. If you would want to wear it to a Christmas party or just anywhere. <laughs> and yeah, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Hope y'all enjoyed and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!